talking about a timing drill to develop the push kick. Push kicks are a great weapon you can use as offense or defense. Uh, this drill right here really works uh, if you got somebody who's an aggressive boxer. Somebody who's a really good puncher, push kicks and teeps are one of the best ways you can really keep them at bay. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Kyle, one of our fighters here on the MMA and Muay Thai fight team. Kyle's going to come here, he's going to be in a fighting stance. Right now we're just going to do a, a, a more basic version of this drill. Kyle is going to either step in with his jab or step in with his uh, cross. And I am going to have to meet him before he hits me with his jab or his cross. So what I'm going to do is when I'm throwing my push kick guys, don't watch his hands. I want to always keep my eyes here at the center of the chest, but my peripheral needs to be watching this leg when it steps in. Soon as this leg steps, I meet him with that push kick, okay? So when you're doing push kicks, guys, make sure that you don't snap it like a front kick. This knee has to come straight up first. I usually tell my guys like your foot is in a bucket of water. You're picking up out of the bucket of water, hitting, putting it right back in that bucket, okay? So we're gonna do a couple real quick. He's in his fighting stance when he steps in. Steps in. Steps in. Steps in. Steps in. Steps in. So even if he's coming, I'm always working that. You can work the back push kick too. Again. Same thing. Most of the time you're gonna be using that front push kick though. You're gonna be using that left leg. Okay, one more time, comes in, comes in. For more information on Muay Thai, you can check out 8PointsMuayThai.com or TheMuayThaiGuy.com.